BlizzCast, your official Blizzard podcast. Welcome, Blizzard fans from around the world. My name is Kevin Yu, your community manager, also known you guys as Karun on the boards. Today we are kicking off Blizzard's new BlizzCast series designed to take you, the fans, behind the scenes into the world of Blizzard. In each episode, we'll be showing you a new facet of what it's like working here, bringing on guest speakers, interviewing your favorite devs, taking you guys on tour with us when we go out to conventions and events, and more or less just bringing you greater insight into the process of how Blizzard makes its games. For our first episode, we'll be starting with an interview with our very own art director and concept artist, Sam Didier, where we'll be talking about what it is like to concept art for both the Warcraft and the Starcraft franchise. Following that, we'll be having Drisk interview our lead designer for World of Warcraft, Jeff Kaplan, about the latest tidbits in regards to patch 2.4, highlighting on the Sunwell Plateau. For our first interview here, we have our art director, uh, Sam Wise, also known as Sam Didier. He's basically responsible for a lot of the prominent characters that you guys have seen in World of Warcraft and uh, Starcraft as well. So we're going to be talking about a few of those uh, units with you guys, and also we're going to find out about how Sammy got involved in the, the video game industry. So how did you get involved, Ashley? <laughs> uh, I saw an ad in, it was either like the Orange County Register uh-huh. or the Penny Save or something like that that was saying, you know, it was a little tiny ad, two sentences, you know, make art for video games. And at the time, I was, uh, I had the, the glorious job of being a head usher at a movie theater. Okay. And I'm like, you know what? I could stop drawing on all the, uh, the bathroom log sheets and the time sheets <laughs> at, at the movie theater, and I can actually draw art for video game. I'm like, well, it's in kind of a cheesy little paper. I, it's probably not going to be anything really cool. And so I went there, and I, you know, I showed up, and the first person I see is uh, Frank Pierce, who is actually kind of the the receptionist by default because his desk was right by the door and I walk in and he's like he's you know he's kind of got a, a a gruff voice and he's like can I help you and I'm like uh yeah I'm here to see Alan Adham he's like uh he's busy do you want to see Mike <laughs> I'm like uh sure so that's when I met Mike Morheim and I had my portfolio basically consisted of a couple sketchbooks and then a bunch of framed pieces of art that I didn't have time to take the art out I just brought in the frames and everything you know it was like ready to hang art for you know nice. <laughs> and um, so I met them and they seemed like they they, they dug uh, my art and they offered me a job that day and that was back in the early Jurassic period 1991 I think it's yeah Jurassic. yeah <laughs> So uh, you've also had had the pleasure of working with both the Warcraft and the Starcraft franchises, um, both which are heavily popular in the video game industry. How do you how do you feel about working in those two genres? Like, do you have a preference which one you like more, or how, how is it like jumping between uh, franchises and, and genres of art if there is a difference? The only time that it's difficult is when you're working on both at the same time. But like you know, if you're working for you know three or four months on StarCraft, that's cool because you're you know you 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 get the StarCraft style, and you can work on it. But when you're like jumping back and forth between the projects, you know, you kind of run into trouble. Like oh, that's looking too Warcrafty, or oh, that's you know not Warcrafty enough. You've been working on StarCraft too long. So uh, that's about the only difficulty with it. But as far as which uh, you know, both of them are awesome to work in. Uh, fantasy and sci-fi are both, you know, How my favorite How would you kind of describe, you know, the characteristics of Warcraft art versus uh, Starcraft art? Well, the Warcraft art is a little bit more over the top, you know, that's why you see people running around with giant, you know, shoulder pads and, you know, their weapons are two-handed weapons, but they're carrying, you know, carrying them one-handed, and each hand has a giant two-handed weapon. I mean, mm-hmm. Warcraft is really like hyper-fantasy, you know, real high-concept fantasy, you know, they got... You know, there's machinery and guns involved in Warcraft, and we're, and then with Starcraft, it's a little bit more like a little bit dirtier. You know, everything's not as polished and shiny. Uh, there's a little bit more grit to the Definitely. texture of the art. The stories are a little bit. There's not as much humor. You know, there's a little bit more uh, serious tone to it, and it's a little bit more. I don't know, not realistic, but it's a little bit more uh, closer to you know. Mm-hmm. modern day sort of thing instead of Warcraft which is you know just completely out there and you can do whatever you want Starcraft is a very focused universe mm-hmm.